now in New Jersey. Powered by Tap Into. Brought to you by Lakeland Bank. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday, March 10th. I'm Christina Baer. A young Spotswood resident is doing what she can to help child refugees forced to leave Ukraine. As happened to Milltown Spotswood publisher Don Miller reports, third grader Ellie Louis heard about the conflict and was inspired to do whatever she could to help. She's a third grader at Spotswood's Appleby School. Um, she's, she plays soccer, she plays basketball, she plays softball, uh, just really sweet kid. And it's uh, a conversation that she had with a classmate about what was going on with Ukraine just struck a chord. I mean, it's such a big concept for, you know, an eight-year-old to understand here. Yes. Yeah. And that's just what really, that's what struck me. And then she had come home from school and she told her dad and her dad said, like, she would not be dissuaded. Like, she wanted to get a collection box, go out and knock on doors. She wanted to make a video. And, you know, so he was just like, okay, let, you know, let, let, I'll help you do it. And then her parents and her grandma were going to match whatever her final total was. Ellie has raised about $500 so far. For more information on how to donate, head to tap into Milltown Spotswood. From one student's act of kindness to another student's act of heroism. A few weeks ago, Cranford fourth grader Juliet McLeod saw a fellow student choking and in distress during lunch. Tap into Cranford reports that Juliet calmly notified a lunch aide who successfully administered the Heimlich maneuver on the student. So Superintendent Scott Rubin and the Cranford Board of Education took the time at a recent board meeting to recognize both the school aide and Juliet for their quick action. Westfield could soon have a new way to get veggies. New plans for an indoor hydroponic farm, banquet hall, and nonprofit educational space got the Westfield Planning Board's approval on Monday. Tabitha Westfield says the planning board went through the plans for the indoor vertical farm and learning center called Ready Farms. The establishment will also have a restaurant, event space, teaching kitchen, and a retail store. Up next, a buzzer beater leads to a heartbreaking loss. My name is Christina, and I just recently purchased a home. Before working with Lakeland Bank, I was working with another mortgage company. I felt like I was getting the runaround a little bit and it felt a lot more like buying a car than buying a home. The mortgage representative from Lakeland Bank was very knowledgeable in their field and their expertise was clear in the conversations that we had over the phone. The home buying process can be very stressful and difficult and I felt very confident with Lakeland Bank knowing that I could trust them and that they would be with me every step of the way. Welcome back. A heartbreaker for one New Jersey basketball team, all thanks to a buzzer beater. Tap into Chatham reports a fadeaway baseline jumper ended the Chatham girls basketball season with a 48-46 loss to Sparta in the Group 3 state semifinal. Chatham's coach said he was proud of what the team did for the community and for themselves this year. Sparta moves on to the next round. To reach Tap Into's large local audience, visit tapintomarketing.net. Thanks for joining us. This has been Now in New Jersey, powered by Tap Into, sponsored by Lakeland Bank.